Good morning, everybody. Let's get started. I want to go ahead and get like a head start. Sorry, I hit the microphone. I want to get a head start on um, supper. So right here in this pot, I have six chicken breasts that I'm just going to season with. I'm going to finish that thing of salt out. We'll put... There's six chicken breasts that I've trimmed fat and gristle off of. Um, I'm going to just salt and pepper it. I can get in the pepper. A little bit of poultry seasoning. The reason I'm just doing a basic seasoning on this chicken is because it's going to, this chicken's going to serve two separate purposes and I can season them up per that purpose when I make the meal. So I just want to boil these and cook these. So the only other thing I'm going to add in here is a chicken bouillon cube. Um, you, if, you, I, if you have chicken base, you can use chicken base or better than bouillon, whatever you prefer. I know some people don't like to use those, but I don't mind them. So anyway, I'm just going to let this come to a boil. When it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it down and just let it cook as long as I can until the chicken falls apart. Now I mentioned I'm going to be doing nachos tonight. So three of these chicken breasts, I'm going to take my hand mixer and shred up real, because I don't, like when I make a chicken pie, I don't want to use my hand mixer. I want chunks of chicken. But when I'm doing nachos, I want it to be fairly fine. So um, I'll use my hand mixer when I'm making burritos or when I'm making enchiladas or um, in this case, nachos. And so I also mentioned that there was some beef and I couldn't think of what it was called, but um, it says beef for carne piccata. And that's what I'm using. It's extra thin carne piccata beef. So that's it. It's not ground up fine like hamburger, but it is chopped up. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. That's what I'm going to be using for the beef. So I'm going to have a tray of chicken nachos and a tray of um, beef nachos. So, okay, while this is coming to a boil, let's go see what we can. This is going to be a nacho trip. <laughs> um, it just depends on what I got in my cabinet. So let's see here. I did purchase some black beans the other day, so we'll get those out. Um, here's some jalapenos. Let's see. I was hoping I had some refried beans so we can use those. I don't think I have any olives. I like olives on mine. Green chilies. I could use green chilies. Um, corn. We're going to use some corn on there. I've got lettuce in the refrigerator. Got lettuce in the refrigerator. Um, let's see, do I have any diced tomatoes? I've already messed up my chores that I worked so hard on. I've got the Rotel. These are mild. So we can get those out. Okay. All right. And I have salsa that I canned up. Some home canned salsa we'll go get. All right. So um, things are out. I'll get my chips out too. Um, we're a long way away for time for supper. And we will um, get all that going. 
I'll go back to the back and get my home can salsa out. And um, we'll get the lettuce out in a little bit and shred it up. And we've got sour cream. I've got cheese. And Car Caroline has that, is it co called cojita cheese or cochita cheese? I'm not sure how you pronounce it. But it's that really fine and it's got like a nice twang bite to it. I love it. Um, so we're going to get that and sprinkle on top as well. So, yeah. And um, I think it's going to be delicious. I wish I had some olives, but oh well. All right. So we will see you guys at the next step. I'm just going to boil my chicken and then get bring it to a good boil, turn it down, put the lid on it, and just let it cook as long, as long as I want to. And it'll be easy to shred. Three of them I'm going to shred for tonight. Three of them I'm just going to let cool. I'm going to bag up, and we're going to use them for something else later on in the week. So, all right, I'll bring you back. Look, we won't be eating in the dining room. Let me show you what's going on in the dining room. I'm slowly... Out of the kitchen, I've got everything out of the kitchen except for my garland over the window. I love that. Uh, I'm going to replace it with something Valentine's y, but um, let me show you my, my dining room table. <coughs> there goes Daniel on the tractor. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm slowly getting Christmas decorations, and so. I'm going to leave my living room as is and my little tree over there as is. And um, we may just eat. We, we may rent a movie like on on Amazon Prime or something, rent a movie and us all sit in here and munch on nachos tonight. It'll be fun. So um, anyway, that's what's going on. Um, as you can tell, I'm not 100%, so I'm just taking it easy. I'm not going to worry about packing up Christmas decorations till either tomorrow or Wednesday or something. So, all right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. And, okay, everyone, I'm going to um, take out three of these chicken breasts and save them for something later on this week and I'm just going to set them on a plate and let them cool and now I'm going to run drain the water off the rest and leave the other three in the pot get my hand mixer and shred it real good Now I do leave um, leave them in here and I'm just going to take a paper towel. You know how the, the foam and the stuff gets around the side? I'm just going to wipe that out real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to leave my chicken breast <laughs> in here and put my mixer back together. And that, my friends, is all there is to it. Look, perfect. Okay, so I'm going to season that up a little bit. A um, little, gar uh, little garlic. And I also have right here in this pan the beef. So I'm going to go ahead and while I have the seasoning out, um, start seasoning it as well. I've got a little adobo seasoning. I'm going to go in with some seasoning salt. And where's my fajita seasoning? In the chicken, I'm going to use some fajita seasoning as well. I'm not going to put that in the beef, but 
we're going to kind of let the beef stand alone. And I have here <coughs> my homemade salsa. I'm going to pour a little bit of that into the chicken. We're just going to stir that up. I may put just a little bit of water in here just so that everything can mix up well. I'm not going to put much, but just enough to get things stirring around. And we may add a little more salsa. I may have to open two jars for tonight's supper. All right, we're going to move over here to our beef and start breaking it up. I know you can't see the beef, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm not doing anything you haven't seen before. I'm just stirring it up. Alright, I'm going to leave that utensil over here. I'm going to get a little bit of water for my chicken. Just a little bit. And I think I'm going to go in with some more fajita seasoning. I'm going to taste it first. Pretty good. Seasoning salt. One more seasoning salt. I'm going to put a little seasoning salt in my beef too. A little more. And just a little bit more water. I should have left some of the broth in here. But didn't. Maybe added a little too much salt, but it's pretty much perfection. And now I'm just stirring this beef up. Well, guys, I just about forgot to film what I was doing. Um, so I'm bringing you in halfway here. I've, on my cookie sheets, I've put the chips down. Then I spread the chicken out, and over here I did a mixture of the chicken and the beef on half, because Caroline doesn't like black beans. So on this half, on this half, I did black beans. Um, and so um, we've got that. Now I'm sprinkling some corn on it. Just a can of drained sweet corn. Like nachos, you can do just about anything. Now, I have the can of jalapenos, but I'm just going to open that can. I'm not going to sprinkle that on. I'm going to let people add it if they want it. Um, I don't know if Isaac's coming and Jess, but um, I, I know Caroline and Jamie and the boys are coming. So, there we go. Now, I'm going to grab some cheese. We're going to cover it with cheese, and I'm going to stick it in. Oh, before I do cheese, I'm actually going to kind of dollop some um, refried beans. And I'll probably put the majority of the refried beans on the section that don't have the black beans.
And I'll put some with the black beans too. And I just add, I took the can of refried beans, added some water, stuck it in the microwave, thinned it up a little bit, and got it to where it's, you know, it's not stuck in one chunk. All right. Guys, we're working on a fundraiser for a gentleman in our church. And um, one of you sweet folks has sent us a check for him, and I appreciate it so much. And um, we will get that cashed and given to them. But um, we're doing a fundraiser, and we asked our church for 35-pound cakes. And within an hour, I think I had them almost completely donated. So um, we're going to be doing it in February. And um, it's going to be great. So, okay, now I'm going to grab the cheese. I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm literally just going through my refrigerator and um, pulling out things we can add to this. So, now I'm going to add cheese. Um, I went through a lot of cheese at Christmas, so I am just about out of all my cheese, my block cheese to shred and so forth. So, we're going to put this on and hope it melts fairly decently. And... Um, I found some bacon bits uh, or bacon pieces in the, so we're even going to add bacon. I mean, that's like, that's not a nacho item, but we're going to add it anyway and just, we're just adding, we're just going to add and add and add and we're going to have us a big old supper. I've got some lettuce that I've shredded up over here in a bowl and, um, I'm going to, I'm not going to finish all this cheese out because I want to put some in a bowl that people can top it with. So I'm going to stop here and um, we're going to stop right there and I'll just stick that in a bowl. I'm also going to get some sour cream out, some more salsa, going to open up the jalapenos and so we're going to, I can't get this bacon open. Good gracious. Okay, so guys, like this, they're going to go in the oven, and that cheese is going to melt, and it's going to heat everything up. We'll bring it back. I'll have the sour cream, the cheese, the jalapenos, more salsa out that we can top it with. I'll see you back when they come out. Okay, everybody, it's out. Because it was pre-shredded cheese, it didn't melt as nicely as I would have wanted it to. Um... I am a firm believer in shredding your own, but I'm also a firm believer in having store-bought shredded when you need convenience as Keep well. Keep it simple. So yeah, I, we do both. I'm just slicing up some green onions in case anybody wants some green onions. All right. Where's, and, that, where's that six inch Wusto Chef's knife? Oh, it has been used and used well. I absolutely love it. It's in my, I've, Place some, a knife in my block over there and put but, it in there. There it is right there. The black handled knife. All right, so we're getting ready to eat. Show them my toppings. Got yeah. extra cheese, sour cream, salsa. Homemade salsa. Yep. And store bought. Um, jalapenos, some rotel tomatoes and chilies, some banana peppers, and some lettuce. So we're ready to chow down. Well, this is not the way I wanted to end this video. I wanted to end it with us talking about the nachos, which were delicious, by the way. And then I wanted me and Bryant to sit down and talk about our goals and so forth. Well, we had um, a little family emergency yesterday. We won't talk about that now. We'll wait and um, I'll share it at a later time. But um, so I'm just going to end the video here and say good night. Thank you guys for loving me. Thank you for enjoying Vlogmas this year. I'm sorry this video is late, um, but I appreciate all your thoughts, well wishes. I love you guys with all of my heart. And we're going to start 2024 off. I, now that Vlogmas is ending, we're going to start it off in a really good way. And I will see you Thursday. Remember, guys, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye, y'all.